Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So this is Sophie Ramos from Manila, Philippines. In case this is your first time watching my vlog, please don't forget to subscribe for more travel vlogs. I'm currently in the land of pyramids, aka Egypt. So I'll be here for one whole week and our first stop is Cairo. So we landed earlier this morning. Good morning guys! <laughs> it's not even a good morning. So I'm currently in Egypt. So this is real life. We're having breakfast in bed. Literally, breakfast in bed. I don't know why there's no like table or dining room for breakfast. So our room is like a holding area slash sleeping slash dining area. It's currently almost 10 a.m. and we're getting ready for our tour today. We're currently staying at Host Gram Hostel. So we landed at around 2 a.m. and then we headed here to the hostel. It took us about 20 minutes and we were lucky enough to be able to get an early check-in or else we would be sleeping on the couch. <laughs> so we're really, really tired, really sleepy from the plane ride since it was a red-eye flight. We're only sharing one room right now because they were only able to offer us one room. Later on, we'll check in in another room and I'll give you a proper room tour later on because it's so gulo ng room namin, as you can see. is the famous pyramids of Giza so we booked a tour here they have small medium and large tours depending on the pyramids that you want to see so we booked the medium tour which cost 85 US dollars and then we got additional entrance to one small pyramid which cost $10 so in total it's 95 and then you have a choice to either ride a camel horse or a carriage going to the pyramid so we got a carriage because it's too hot right now So we're finally down from our carriage. It's so, so hot. Crazy. The pyramids are really huge. I don't know how people actually build this. It's crazy. Seriously, how do you even build that thing? It's insane. Ah, I can't see anywhere. It's so bright. Okay, we're currently inside the small pyramid. It took ah, ang hila, ang hila pumasok. Nakayos pa ako. Don't wear heels. It's like downhill and it has a small tunnel to get inside. It's basically nothing inside. <laughs> if, you really, if you really wanna go inside, you can try, but don't expect much. It's really nothing. It's just more of the adventure to get inside. Part of our tour is a meal, so we're having lunch at this restaurant. I don't know the name, but it's pretty okay. They have choices for the meats. If you're vegetarian, you can also opt for it. So they they also have aircon, but it doesn't feel like aircon. Parang panda, sobrang inet. It also has a view of the pyramids later. I'll show you. Hey guys, so we're back in our hotel. So time check, it's around 4.30 p.m. And we just finished our short, short tour. So just to recap and give you a review of what happened today. So the tour that we booked today included a drop-off at the Pyramids of Giza. But they didn't come with an actual tour in the place. So we had to book one there when we arrived. And they gave us choices between small, medium, and large. So the one that we took was the medium one wherein we get to see the three pyramids and then we get to ride either a camel carriage or a horse so at the end of the tour my family and I we were very very disappointed we felt 
first that it was overpriced. We didn't enjoy because of the heat and because they were rushing us the entire time. And then we also felt like everyone was trying to make money out of us. They were trying to scam us in a way because they would try to help you offer to take your photos but in the end they'll ask money from you and even our driver tried to ask for tips from us which I felt like isn't something you should ask but something that someone will give to you because of your good service and you also have to be wary and very careful because there are a lot of locals there who try to talk to you so i would advise that maybe you should just ignore them while you look around and take photos my other tip is in choosing the mode of transport to get around. Choose the carriage because it's too hot to take a horse or a camel. And because we had a free camel ride going back, three people from our group could take it. And they said that they wouldn't recommend it because the camels were very smelly, unsanitary, so it wasn't really an enjoyable ride. So overall, I don't really recommend the tour. I felt like it was too expensive for the entire experience. But since we're here in Egypt, it's something that we felt like we had to do. You can actually just enter at a much cheaper price, I think $35 instead of going around. But you won't be able to see the pyramids really up close. Our travel mishaps didn't end there. So after we ate in the restaurant, they told us that we had to pay for our drinks and which was we thought was part of the tour so when they gave us the bill it was so so expensive for water and soft drinks and when i asked for the menu they said they didn't have because i wanted to make sure that was really the price and then in the end they gave us a dis discount but i think it's really a scam so they're really trying to overcharge us for the drink so in egypt i think you really have to be careful even with the locals don't trust anyone and make sure to be extra mindful of your belongings and also the prices that are charged to you. We out. We're not gonna do anything anymore today. Mar, I'm so tired. I don't know, maybe it's just our experience, but I wish the people were nicer and made us more feel more safe. So I don't think we're heading out anymore because we're all so exhausted. We're probably just gonna have dinner here or near somewhere nearby. And we're actually checking out again tomorrow because we have a train ride to another city in Egypt. So we're trying to also rest up for that. My sister is out. Lol. 5 p.m. Palang. decided to head out and get dinner at Kazaz restaurant so it's a fast food chain here I think and we just got takeout because they don't have tables available for us we got Egyptian food falafel again so their food is really cheap we got two falafels two chicken shawarmas one chicken dish and one burger and our total bill was about 84 Egyptian pounds or about 250 pesos only. So super sulit. Pretty good. $5. The taste is pretty okay naman. Sulit. Breakfast in bed. Good morning guys. It's day two here in Egypt. So we are just going to have a quick tour today and it costs 140 Egyptian pounds to get in. If you're a student, I recommend bringing your card so that you can get a discount. It will be 70 Egyptian pounds. church for me it's nothing special we're here at El Khan restaurant so it's part of our tour and the food looks okay compared to yesterday they have vegetarian options 
and meat options also. So we're gonna eat now. This is potato. I also have eggplant and I think I don't know what this is. Eggplant. Pretty good. So the secret to food here is the hummus. Just put it in everything. And it'll make everything better. <laughs> Museum, so it's one of the top destinations here in Cairo. So when we visited the pyramids, all of them were empty, and the reason why is because they stored everything here in the museum. So the entrance fee is about 80 for students and 160 for normal adults. And the museum is really huge. You'll be able to see a lot of artifacts and a lot of sculptures, everything that was stored in the museum before. So it's actually pretty cool to visit, except it's not aircon. So it's really hot also. This is a place you must go here in Cairo because you'll get to see the actual remnants of their culture and history. This place is also very, very big. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> It'll take probably one to two hours if you really want to go through everything. The only downside is it's not air conditioned, so that's why my hair is up already because it's really, really hot, even if there are fans everywhere. You should definitely go to this place. I think you can't visit Egypt without visiting the museum. Our new friends. Selfie! And very very straight. Wow, I'm touching it. Asian. I think the real mommy. The mommy. The mommy returns. This is the reenactment. Ano ba yon? Ano mura? Kasi inpo kami ngayon. Thirty percent off. So today is officially our last full day here in Egypt. So at the start of this vlog, I mentioned that we will be staying here for one full week. So we had a complete long itinerary ahead of us. We were supposed to go to Luxor, to Ashwan, to see the black and white desert. We were also supposed to take a train and even have a glamping or camping experience. But there has been a change in our plans. My family and I decided to cut our trip short. We really wanted to enjoy Egypt, but we could not continue traveling like this. On our first day here, we felt constantly being harassed by some locals. We could not even walk a minute straight on the streets without someone calling out to us, asking us where we're from, trying to start a conversation or trying to sell us something. We felt like they were talking to us not to know more about us but really to sell us something or to ask money. Whenever we would say no, they would be so persistent and even come up to us five more times. It was too much and we couldn't tolerate it anymore. So I'm the type of traveler where I like to walk along the street because I feel like that's the best way to immerse myself in the local culture and scene. But my family and I, we preferred to stay in our hotel room instead of walking because we could not walk in peace without someone disturbing us. 
We even had our dinner delivered to our hotel room. So my family and I made a choice to rebook our flights so that we'll be able to leave earlier back to Manila. And it was very costly for us in all honesty. But we felt that it was worth it because we could not continue traveling uncomfortably. And actually at the start of this trip, Martin had to rebook his flight also earlier because he had to be in school. He had a, a prior commitment. So I felt like it was a blessing in disguise or it fell all into place. And now that I look back, everything really happens for a reason and I guess this is the reason why. Martin left yesterday and then we're leaving tomorrow morning as well. We checked out of our first hotel, Hostgram, earlier this morning and now we checked in Novotel Hotel. <laughs> so far, everything is good. It's a hotel very, very close to the airport and they also offer free shuttle airport services. So that's good because our flight tomorrow is in the early morning. So far, we're enjoying our stay here. Everything is good. The rooms are big and complete. They have several amenities. They have a lot of pools. So the ambience is really good. And we also had lunch earlier at one of their restaurants and the food was really tasty and the servings were big which was surprising for hotel food. On the other hand, our experience with the first hotel was not very good. So it was located in this very run-down, sketchy old building. And the comfort rooms and the beds were not comfortable. You could hear the noise outside happening in the streets. It was weird because it had really good reviews. I think the only good thing was that they really had good Wi-Fi, which Novotel doesn't have. And I guess you can't have everything. I don't recommend Hostgram unless you're a budget traveler or you're not very picky. Anyways, to end, I just want to put out a disclaimer that this is my personal experience and it could be different for others. I've read several reviews and blogs where people really enjoy Egypt and it just so happens that I did not. And I guess it also boils down to your priorities when you travel and also your appetite for adventure. So for me, I really value walking along the streets peacefully because that's really how I enjoy traveling and also the attitude of locals towards tourists. If you were to ask me, I would still recommend it if you're a different type of traveler than I am. But I do hope one day it will be better so that more people can see the great things and sights that Egypt has to offer. That's it. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and I hope even if this was a quick vlog, you're able to get a glimpse of Egypt. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and leave a comment down below on what you think or a uh, next destination that I should visit. Till the next one, bye!